Today we are going to be covering a new hero who has entered the game. So with that, let's jump in. So the first thing we're going to be covering is how to unlock the new hero. So the new hero is Pollock. He is an army hero. And there's two ways to unlock him currently. So the first way is to come into your valuable events, come to the pack, and purchase him. So you can see right here, the purchase price is $19.99 US dollars. Your price may vary depending on where you're from. You can also click the little arrow to the right of the screen. If you guys haven't been able to find those before, they are located kind of right on the sides of the screen. And you can also see his hero skill pack. Uh, the second way to unlock him is to come to the second event, which is the lottery. And you can use gems down here to unlock him via gems instead of having to pay currency for it. So um, I always use the gems. The gems usually, on average, cost about 3300 so 3300 and as a reminder, every time you spin this one three times, you are guaranteed at least one shard. So keep that in mind that that is part of that. So we're going to unlock him this way. So here we got one, two, three. So I, that's my third time spinning. So that was four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'm going to do one more just so I have the extra shard that I get for free. Eleven. So... That is unlocking him, so we will go and click on him. Here his, is a, his unlock. Now we will go over kind of the hero and how he works. So he is an army hero, and his skill at 5 star max stats, when this hero participates in battle, all of the army units get a 36% HP shield. Each round, the army units in the first row get two hostile marks, each of which provide 10% decreased damage taken. When a unit with this mark is attacked, one hostile mark will be used to fire a missile at a random enemy target in the back two rows, doing 100% damage. The hostile mark won't carry over to the next round, and at the start of each round, it will reset to its initial mark. So basically how this works is... Each time you're in a battle, and I'm going to go to sand table just so I can kind of draw. Um, each time you're in a battle, what's going to happen is your front row, each of these two people are going to get one mark. So they're going to have two marks each. Whenever they are attacked by the enemy, one of those marks is going to be used. So we'll say they hit the middle one. So that's going to be used. So that only has one. What's going to happen then is that's going to deal 100% damage to a random enemy target up here. And you're going to lose that mark, which means you lose one of the 10% damage decrease or damage taken. So now this one only has an increase of 10%, where at the beginning of the round it had 20%. Um, so that is how his skill works. It, so it's not just a passive skill, it's also kind of a... I don't want to say trigger skill, but it triggers on attack. So um, kind of a new twist to things. There's a couple other heroes that have used marks before, but this is kind of the new twist to it where it gives you a buff as well as does the attack. Uh, you can see down in his stats, his war and defense are pretty balanced, so that will probably remain the same. And some additional things, his attribute bonuses, uh, war is going to be what you want to focus on for him because that'll give you an additional HP shield and it'll increase your damage, the decreased damage taken provided by the hostile mark by 0.01%. So um, that is his description. Lastly, we're going to talk about kind of how to use him, the skills you'd use on him, things like that. So obviously you're going to want to perk him out if you're going to use him. Um, another thing to use is or to focus on are his skills. So um, being that I'm not upgrading him right now, I'm going to use a different hero so you can see the skills that I would use. And it's going to be the same skills that you pretty much everybody uses for army. So um, skills, I'd use the exclusive, rare march, regular march, increased damage taken, and the rare decreased damage taken. So um, if you are... A mech and you have this you may want to play around sometimes the 
taking out the regular march size is better than taking out the decreased damage taken and vice versa. Sometimes not having the exclusive skill is also important. Um, I just realized I didn't tell you guys about his exclusive skill, so I'm going to go back and just kind of explain that quick. Um, so his exclusive skill at level 3 increases the attack by 30% of all units. At level 5, it increases the first row shield to the army units in the first row get a 36% HP shield, and the hostile damage is increased by 40%, so that means it would be 140%. And I'm going to guess that that's meaning it adds 36% HP shield, so it would be 72, but I might be wrong on that. Um, please, somebody, once you get level 5 skill, please put it in the comments for everybody to see. I am not going to be able to test that one for everybody. And then every round, the army units in the first row get one more hostile mark, so that means you get an additional 10% damage uh, decrease, or damage, decreased damage taken. And the army units in the first row get one immunity stack, so that means they get it, they're immune for one stack. Now, how I see this hero being used primarily for me is kind of with the max traps and the um, Akka bombs and things like that. Being that he is almost guaranteed to do damage, the longer you can keep your front row alive, the more damage he's going to do. So... You gotta think Air Force always hits the front row because they attack in columns. And Navy will hit all three of the front row, meaning all three of them will trigger. So he's definitely gonna be kind of, in my mind, for me, a defensive hero. Um, definitely with his skills, just kind of seeing the immunity and things, he could be used as an offensive hero. Definitely to kind of stack with Shinji and um, like a Megatron, where they'd be able to continue to just pummel the enemy while he kind of sits and defends, even though he's going to be adding damage also. I think his primary um, buff or thing for me is kind of that decreased damage taken in the front row, and then also the immunity once you get that level 7 skill for the whales that'll go and get that. Even if you don't get that, definitely useful in things like the max traps and stuff because you can use that guaranteed damage and that's really what those are about is the guaranteed damage so um if you're going to be doing a max trap type of layout you can definitely get rid of the decreased damage taken but again i don't know if i would do that i think i would get rid of the rare march and the march size and i would probably do your um i might even with him throw in the non-rare army damage just for that extra damage and like the rare attack i know it's a little off of what people normally use for the max traps and things like that but i think for him those skills would definitely help with those max traps just because of how he is and how he gives you the hp and the damage decrease already so um basically remember your goal with those is to do as much damage as quickly as possible before the enemy kills you your troops go to the hospital, you heal them, and you're ready to go again. So um, that's how I'm going to be using them. Um, the whales and the meta players might be using them differently, but that's definitely how I see him being most useful for army. Um, it's definitely as a defensive hero. He would pair very, very good with Springfield, um, where Springfield here, uh, Springfield, because Springfield also has that HP shield. And then he's doing the damage also. And when he's defending also, he gets the extra HP shield. So really, if you paired him, I'd say him, Pollock, and my man Megatron here together for a kind of a max trap type thing uh, as an army player, I think that'd be pretty, pretty powerful. So um, with that, please... Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy my content and see ya.